shitting me? You fucking serious? Oh shit, man, I'm sorry. It's not my fault. Yeah, it is your fault. I'll get my, uh, insurance. You know what, man? It's actually not that bad of a dent. Funny, like, I feel like I meet people all day in this car, but you don't really meet someone until you have an accident. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, man? I think I can probably bang that out for like a hundred bucks. You wanna just do it that way? You wanna just, you know, keep it off the books? Yeah, that'd be awesome, yeah? actually. All right, cool. You know, yesterday we hit a car full of blacks. Today we get an accident with this white man. <laughs> it's so much easier to deal with your own. That's the difference right there, Eddie. You know, we can settle this, you know? We're all on the same team here, so. That's right. <laughs> what? What happened yesterday? I don't know, it came over me. <laughs> you know, I just, I saw them laughing, smoking up in their car, you know, having a good time. You know what I mean? You know when you see that shit? <laughs> it came over you. And then? We stood our ground. That was the end of their good time. <laughs> we just drove right into the side of their car. It was real. All right, man, you want to just uh, do a little cash transaction, get out of here, call it a day? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think so. Now uh, you want to just PayPal me or, or Venmo? I don't give a shit. No, I don't want to do that either. What? You just said you wanted to do that shit. You got a fucking problem? We're going to be late, Hancho. Fuck, man. Dude, it's fucking close. Got your fucking info, baggy. Fucking close. Oh, hey, Dad. Watch your cake. Hang on a second. Let me get my hearing aid. You brought me a cake? What's going on? It's chocolate, your favorite. Hey, it's chocolate, my favorite. That's what I just said. Come in, have a seat. You want some milk? No, I don't want any milk. I'm going to eat the cake later. Eat whatever you want, it's your cake. Listen, Paul, you don't have to worry. I've been saving money. I didn't ask about that. You'll be all right. I'm not a rich man, but you'll be all right. You know what your grandfather left me? Bupkis. I had an accident today with some white supremacists. What? White supremacists, I had an accident. Did they hit you? No, I hit them. I mean, they seemed like good kids at the time, but... They started talking about like all this darky stuff. It was so fucked up. I'm still sh shaking. Maybe I will have a slice of that cake. Why am I such a coward? See that picture? Yeah. That's your great-grandfather. He was a tyrant. Yeah, I know, and your father left home at 13, which is the preferred age for running away in this family. Oh, well, he was very strict, very religious. And when the Nazis came into Biala Pagloska, they asked, who wants to be the first to die for his God? Your great-grandfather stood on a bench and said, I'm not afraid to die for my God. And they shot him right there. They shot him dead, just like that. Yeah, I know. It's in all the literature. You read about the Holocaust, you'll come across your great-grandfather. Now, your grandfather, he was the only one who survived. He left home to teach his father a lesson. The Nazis taught his father a lesson instead. But he survived because he had left. Life is funny that way. 
you make a decision, you make a choice. It may not seem like a big deal at first, but, or maybe it does, but not for the reason you originally thought. Are you getting out? Are you going to- Oh, leave? don't worry about that stuff. They slaughtered his entire family. Every single person. He eventually made his way to America, married your grandmother. He wasn't a very good father to me. And you thought you had it tough because I was moody and the social workers coddled you. <laughs> you told them I hit you. Yeah, you did hit me. You've never been hit in your life. I don't know. You have no idea. I don't know why I came here, actually. Did I write a book and tell the world what a bad father he was? No. You want to know why? Because you're not a writer. Because nobody cares. He did his duty. That's all that matters. He put food on the table. The family is the only thing that matters. Is it? Is that the, what matters? Is that yes. the only thing that matters? You know, I almost told them and I had a black girlfriend, but I was too afraid. This one, like, really big guy, like, look like a fucking football player. I mean, what's the big deal? It's not like I remember smacked around before. I mean, do you even remember that? Do you remember anything? That's the first piece of cake I've seen you not eat. Okay. Maybe you're not hungry. You want to hear a joke? Have I heard it already? No, not this one. Okay, let's hear it. The guy goes to the doctor to get a checkup. The doctor says, you're in great shape. <laughs> the guy says, how old do you think I am? The doctor guesses 40, 45 years old. I'm 65 years old. <laughs> So he's feeling great as he's walking out of the doctor's office and he stops in front of the pretty receptionist and says, Miss, how old do you think I am? Oh, she says, uh, gosh, I don't know, 35, 40? I'm 65 years old. Ha! Ah! <laughs> he passes another woman on his way out and says, excuse me, ma'am, how old do you think I am? She looks at him and says, hmm, lower your pants. Well, that's unusual. Okay. So he drops his trousers. She reaches between his legs and starts choking his balls. You're 65 years old. That's amazing. How did you do that? And the lady replies, I heard you talking to the receptionist. <laughs> Good one. Have some cake. Doing your jokes. <laughs> it's good to see you, Paul. It's been so long. Okay.